Wow, I, I don't know that I've ever made that noise out of my face before. <laughs> wow, that was a weird noise. But guys, welcome to Apostolic Center School. This is day number 71, and it's Friday, and it's June 11th, 2020. And man, we only got one more day after today of the daily devotion, and that is crazy. Crazy, 71 days, and it's felt like, sometimes it felt like it went by in a blink of an eye, and sometimes it's felt like it's just dragged on forever and ever and ever. But guys, thanks for hanging with us. We are pretty soon going to turn this into the weekly devotion, and that'll be cool too. So we'll be able to spend time with each other, and then we'll get to go back to normal, right? Well, hopefully not normal, because this isn't going to be normal church anymore, right guys? We're not going to take church for granted. We're not going to take the things of God for granted. What we're going to do is say, you know what? We had something crazy happen in our world, but we can't let that interrupt us. In fact, we need to let it motivate us to do something incredible for God. We need to work harder for God. We need to live for Him more than we ever have, and I'm excited about it. And you know what else I'm excited about? is the 60 plus mini object lessons that have been sent from you guys. I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to do those and video them and post them and send them over. Super exciting and we thank you so very much for doing that. Now, the, today's object lesson was actually put in our Sunday school uh, video uh, just a few days ago. But I wanted to put it in the daily object lesson too. So this is my niece, Elena Booker, and this is for you guys. Take it away, Elena! Hi. This quarter represents us, and this piece of paper represents sin. So sometimes the devil tries to wrap us up in sin, but we think we're safe. We can get out at any time. And then he wraps us up more, but we still think that we're safe and get out at any time. And he wraps us up more and more until we're completely wrapped up. There's only one thing that can save us, though. With Jesus, it'll be like we were never there. And we were in his hand all, the whole time. Great job, Elena! She has been practicing that for a while. In fact, she showed it to me several times, and I said, you know what, let's turn this into a lesson, please. And she did it, and we're so thankful. Thank you, Elena, for spending the time and making that so cool. And what else is super cool is the joke! Before I do that, I just realized that this is almost the last time I'm going to hear joke of the day. Because when we turn it into a weekly thing, it's not going to be joke of the day no more it's going to be joke of the week and joke of the weeks aren't as funny as joke of the day i don't know why anyway take it away joke do it tell it be funny <laughs> and now it's time for your joke of the day photons don't check bags at the airport they're traveling light so funny if if you're a scientist or something like brother Bob Lee he's probably just cracking up right now but not me because I don't under, I mean <laughs> I mean I understand it completely I thought it's so funny anyway we had a scavenger hunt and we only have one person that has correctly guessed it so far still now I'm just telling you when I give you the last hint today you will know what it is and so all I can do is the first two people that send in the correct answer, I'm just going to look at the timestamps on the emails as they come in, and whoever does them first is going to be the first two winners. Because I'm telling you, this hint is going to give it away. So the hints that you have so far are you put it into things. Hint number two is you can hold it. Hint number three is it can be found in the road. Hint number four is snakes have it with them all the time. And today's hint, the one that's going to give it all away, is... There is a saying, put this in it, whatever you're referring to, and call it done. Put in it and call it done. Whatever that is, send a picture to info at apostolicsendingstool.com. Go, 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 run, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. And if you get it, then I'm going to send you $5 to Amazon. Now, only the first two people. All right. Now it's time for the object lesson 
of the day, and I want to welcome two of my favorite people in the whole world. And this is my kids, two of my three kids. Uh, my oldest son is Logan, then I have Tristan and Riley, and Tristan and Riley are going to be helping me today. Everybody, welcome Tristan and Riley. Come on, everybody. Woo! All right. Hey, Riley, welcome. We're glad you're here. Hi. Hey, Tristan, welcome. We're glad you're here. Hi. Can you guys help me with the lesson today? Yeah. This is going to be fun, okay? So, does anybody know what this is? A ring. No. This is you. How did you guys not know that? Uh, actually, it's both. It's, it's you, me, and everybody, but it's also a ring. Now, Riley, I want you to check this ring out. I want you to look in that camera. And I want you to tell those people with truth and honesty and integrity, I want you to tell them if there are any trap doors in that ring. No. Are there any gaps in that ring? No. Are there any slots in that ring? No. Are there any genies in that ring? No. Are there any magic carpets in that ring? Of course not. Anyway, is it, is it good? Pull it. I mean, don't like, don't flex on me and like break it or nothing. <laughs> and Tristan, I'm going to have you do the same. Is there anything goofy about that ring? Is it strong? Are there any brakes, slots, gadgets, whistles, um, no. magic snakes? I don't know. Is there anything goofy about this? No. So this ring is us. And you guys know what this is. No, 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 no. no. This, this, do you guys know what kind of rope this is? Nylon. No! <laughs> this is the rope of sin. How can you guys not recognize the rope of sin when you see it? I did. I did one of the flips on it. Anyway, I want you guys to grab this side. I want you to grab this side. Grab it. Tristan, I want you to grab this. And one, two, three, tug of war! All right! Just kidding. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You guys are going to like, 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 like have a big fight and then we got to explain how <laughs> we're just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so this rope, is it pretty stout? Was there anything goofy about it? No, no it's not. It, it's just a rope. It's just a rope. But. This rope is going to represent sin today. And we're going to see what happens when sin begins to take over your life. Can you guys say, oh, no! Oh, no! So, Riley, can you please tell me a sin that a young person might struggle with? Maybe at your age or younger. Huh? A lying. A uh, lying. Yes, yes, that, yes. Laying on the floor <clears throat> is bad. That is a sin beyond, especially when you do it past three in the afternoon, young man. That... <clears throat> No! No, that's not a sin. That's just called being a teenager or being a young person. No. No, no, no. Lying is not a sin. Why did you say that? It's not a sin. Oh, you didn't mean laying or lying. You meant lying. Like saying something dishonest. Like trying to deceive somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be bad, wouldn't it? And when you lie, sin has a way of beginning to work on you. Can you guys say, oh no! Oh no! And Tristan wants another lie! No, no, not another lie. Another sin that we might struggle with. Cheating. Cheating. Oh, cheating is a bad one. Yes. Yes. Cheating is very, very bad and it can just tie us up. Now, what's another one, Ryan? What's another sin that we might have, huh? Pride. Pride, yes. A pride of lions. Those are scary. Like a pride of lions <laughs> is sent. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's not what you're talking about, is it? No, you're talking about like being arrogant. That's bad. That's called pride. And that's actually why why Satan got kicked out of heaven because he was proud. That ain't good. What's what's another? Uh, stealing. stealing. Stealing, yes. Stealing is not bueno. So we're going to see what happens if all of these sins begin to wrap themselves around us. And guys, look at that. We have created the knot of doom. Riley, grab this ring. Tristan, grab this rope. And once again, test the strength of ring and rope. In front of, hold on, hold on, where everyone can see it. Test the strength of ring and rope. Guys, is it strong? Yeah. Is it ever gonna come loose? Yeah. Is that not gonna, let go, let go. Is that not gonna break? Oh, is the rope going to give? No. Is this ring ever going to come free? No! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the rope of sin has trapped the ring. And guys, there is no hope. That's the end of the lesson. All right, guys, we'll see you later. But No, I'm joking. Come back here. No, 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 no. That would be terrible. He you imagine ending there? Everybody would be like all sad and like say, wow, that was the worst object lesson in the world. Whew. It still might be. But <laughs> so let's hope not. Okay. So, the rope of sin is wrapped around us, and we 
are in serious trouble. Uh, the Bible says, For as by one man sin entered into the world, and death came by sin. Did you know that? Are you combing your hair on camera? Pride! No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but it says that death, you know, the, the, the Bible says we've all committed sin. And we're in trouble. So guys, I need you to do something. I need you to hold this. And you see that, how it is firmly trapped. And there's no way that it's ever going to come free. Except for one thing. Do you guys know what can free you? The scissors of salvation! The scissors of self. No! Not the scissors of salvation. Do you know, young lady? Sword and spirit. The sword of... <clears throat> okay, sure, a sword would cut through this, but you're going to mess up my object lesson. That's not what I'm talking about. No, I'm not talking about the scissors of salvation or the sword of the spirit. I am talking about something else. There's a verse in the Bible that says, there is one thing that cleanseth us from all sin. There's only one thing. And it is... The blood of Jesus. Right here, this is the blood of Jesus. And the Bible says that when He died on the cross for us, that He took the sin of the entire world upon Him. And He died for us, guys. And this is a very serious thing. I'm, 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 we kid a lot, but we ain't kidding right now. The blood of Jesus, the blood that Jesus shed for us, He did that so we could be clean. And that's pretty incredible. Now, this is like the blood of Jesus. And He covers us just like this. And He says, you know what? You got that? You got it tight? You got it tight? And He says, you know what? I'm going to help you. If you just let the blood cover you, if you repent of your sins, if you say, Jesus, I'm sorry. If you say, Jesus, forgive me, and you let Him begin to work in your life, did you know that something pretty incredible begins to happen? He begins to work. When you say you're sorry and you turn from those sins and you say, God, I don't want to be like that anymore, something incredible begins to happen. Jesus forgives you for all of those, from all of those sins. And when we look back, the sin has let us go. We are free. We're free of those sins that used to hold us by the blood of Jesus. Is that incredible, guys? Not only are we forgiven, the beautiful thing is that God won't bring those sins back up to us. Now, if we make another mistake, you've got to say you're sorry again. But God doesn't just say, I forgive you. He takes those sins and He throws them into the sea of forgetfulness. Where even God Himself can't bring them back. Because He doesn't want them back. You know, He throws them away. And he doesn't ever bring them back up. You know, that's not like us. When we forgive each other for something, like if I do something bad to you and I say I'm sorry and you say I forgive you, maybe like a week later something else will happen and you'll say, you did that last week! Well, God doesn't do that. God never brings that back up. He forgives us and we're free and we're clean. When we repent of our sins and we're baptized in Jesus' name and we get the gift of the Holy Ghost, we are saved and we are ready to go to heaven. And that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Guys, thank you for spending time with us again today. Day number 71 is over. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow, day 72 at 3 p.m. Guys, can you tell everybody bye? Bye. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.